hello viewers you're welcome to my youtube channel still basking in the euphoria of the christmas the utah season i just want to wish you merry christmas and happy new year in advance all right just like i always do on today's episode i brought the weekly latest update on canada immigration for you so that you can stay informed regarding your immigration process to canada on this episode today i've got latest news on um, express entry draw that was recently done provincial nominee the update on the uh, designated learning institution for international students that wants to come into canada and i also have information about the lockdown in canada coronavirus in canada and lots more information so you want to hang on tight stay tuned because this episode is loaded as always all right viewers you're welcome to my youtube channel i still remember my humble self mc bernardino this is canada reality where i dish out content for those that are in canada and those that are intending on migrating to canada if our venture this is your first time on this youtube channel please 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 take some few minutes subscribe to this youtube channel there's a notification bell beside it click on it so that anytime i drop a video you'll be among the first to get it and for my returning viewers for those of you that come back to this channel you haven't made up your mind to subscribe i mean Give me the end of the year gift by please clicking on the subscribe button and sharing this video with whoever feel you feel will benefit from it and don't forget to share it on your social media your instagram your facebook your youtube your whatsapp just share this video and give somebody a befitting christmas present all right so let me start today with the express entry so on december 23rd the latest and i think i might be wrong the last draw for the year was done and 5000 ita was sent out to uh qualified applicant to apply for their permanent resident and do you want to know what the cutoff is for some of you that don't know it was pegged at 468 that is one point lesser than the last draw of december 9 which was 469 so this one was 468 5000 ita was sent out congratulations to those that were invited i know that this year has been like um turbulent i mean the score has been on the high side i can't remember the score going below 460 but i mean kudos to those that were invited let's hope that year 2021 holds something significant and something good for applicants so all i can just continue to tell you is that just continue to try as much as possible do your best to try increase your score in the point learn french if you have to learn french to increase your score do a short diploma course to increase your point do a master's program what are your IELTS if you if you haven't performed very well try as much as possible to do better by trying to increase your score just to make sure you increase your point just to make sure that 2021 an invitation is sent to you because to be sincere with you I don't think this score might be going down anytime soon all you have to do is just to brace yourself up and try to increase your point I know it's not easy but all I can just do is to encourage you because I know you can do it and uh, so far this year over um, 100 and um, 107,000 um, ITA has been sent out so far to uh, to applicants in the year 2020 so once again congratulations to those that have been invited to apply for their permanent resident in Canada all right so moving to the next news that i have for you today is on the eca education credential assessment you know that if you want to migrate into canada especially through the route of um, express entry or a provincial nominee you need to do your credential assessment especially for um, international applicants if you are outside canada you need to do your eca assessment and one of the renowned body that does that for uh, Canada immig uh, Immigration um, Institution is called WES, World Educational Service. So now the latest update we got and Canada Immigration wants to share with you is that you, when you want to um, assess your credential, you just need to submit your IES qualification. So take for instance, hypothetically, you have a bachelor's degree, you have a master's and you have a PhD and you're applying for your WES credential assessment. You don't need to submit your bsc or your master's for assessment the highest one which is the phd is what you need to submit to uh west for them to assess it there's no point doing uh bsc and masters and also if masters is your highest you don't need to do your bsc assessment just do the highest one that will save you time and will save and it will uh, probably save you money so the news is that all you have to do if you want to do your credential assessment your eca with west just submit your highest educational qualification and assess it and with that with that with minimal time your credential will be assessed and you'll be ready to apply for your uh, express entry or provincial nominee as the case is all right transcending to the border closure so for canada for those that are in us that wants to come into canada i mean far back as 
March, April this year, there has been lockdown between the US and Canada and also international travelers too. So what I just want to tell you is that uh the there's the the ban has been the border closure ban has been extended again between us and canada don't forget that it was supposed to end in december 2021 um, tw um 21st rather december 21st but now it has been extended again up until january 21st the border closure between the us and canada and also for international travelers too that wants to come into canada the border is still in still closed you can still come in it's so sad it's so pathetic let's hope that with the uh advent of this uh, vaccine now the moderna vaccine and the pfizer vaccine that things will begin to gear up in the year 2021 and things will open on the, open up again and people can come into canada all right so my next news goes out to international students that want to come and study in canada the news i have for you is that the list has been updated for the universities for the colleges that are welcoming that with the readiness plan that are welcoming international students the list has been updated in the video description i'll be linking it so you can check on your school to see if your school has a readiness in place plan and if you can come into canada don't forget i've told you in my previous videos that you can come into canada if your school doesn't have a readiness in place plan and you don't have that letter printed from the school website so that when you come to the uh, when you eventually land in canada the border agent they will ask you for that letter and if you can't produce it they will definitely send you back so your school that you're coming into canada needs to have that readiness in pl pl plan place and uh, quarantine measures in place so that international students when they come into canada they can be well taken care of so you want to check on the link that i'll be linking in the video description to see if your school is now on the updated list i hope you understood the video that i brought for you today if you have any question anything you're not clear about based on what i've said today feel free to drop it in the comment section do you have anything you want me to talk about i mean any yearning question any concern of yours that you want me to talk about please drop it in the comment section and please if you enjoyed this video please encourage us by hitting on the likes button and also if you haven't subscribed please take some few moments doesn't cost you anything it does it on the subscription button and turn on the notification so that anytime i drop a video you'll be among the first to get it thank you very much all right so moving now to uh the uh ban so uh for for, for my viewers for those of you that are in the uk canada placed a ban on uh flights from the uk so the plan the ban is in place up until january 6 2021 so meaning that flights are not welcome from the uk and it is not only canada that did that uh most uh countries have, i know france have done that i know um, i think us have done that too so many countries they've done that so meaning that flights are not welcome from the uk and the reason it's not far-fetched is just because of the new uh kind of coronavirus that has uh, that was discovered in the UK and that is why they felt that it's better for them to close their border so that um, that won't come into Canada and other countries and we won't start to uh, um, face that trouble again so that's why so up until January 6 if you're coming from the UK I'm so sorry you can't come into Canada because there's a border closure and there's a ban in place because of the new COVID-19 um, strand virus that was discovered Okay, viewers, let me quickly give you an update on the provincial nominee, just like I always do. I mean, for those of you that don't know what COVID, um, what provincial nominee is all about, I've done videos on it in the past. You might want to check my playlist to actually get enlightened on that. So, on December 22nd, British Columbia invited 230 candidates to apply for provincial nomination through five through five streams of the BC provincial nominee. Certain occupations we are excluded so i mean if you want to know more about that please visit uh the british columbia provincial nominee check their website learn more about it check my previous video you will get enlightened so on december still on december 22nd quebec announced the result of a december 16 draw where the province invited 233 candidates to apply for permanent residence through the quebec skilled workers program so quebec is not left out they run this provincial nominee and this particular stream is called Quebec skilled worker so for outsider if you are skilled and you have the experience you can apply for this Quebec skilled workers for more information about it visit their uh, Quebec immigration website where you can learn more about it and also check my previous videos you will get to know more about it on december 17 saskatchewan invited 576 candidates from the express entry and occupation in demand stream 
of the SINP, only certain occupation were considered. So, um, uh, Saskatchewan, they run a very fantastic provincial nominee. In fact, I always advise my uh, uh, my viewers, those that reach out to me, that which are the best one, provincial nominees to look into. So, SINP is one of the best, less cumbersome, less uh, competitive. So, if you want to come into Canada, you might want to look at the SINP, the Saskatchewan Provincial Nominee. It's a very good pathway for you to come into Canada, especially in the year 2021. All right, once again, viewers, I hope you understood the video that I brought for you today. On today's episode, I brought to you the latest express entry draw that was done on December 23rd. I told you that the CRS score was pegged that. 468 and 5,000 ITA was sent out. I gave you the latest news regarding the uh, lockdown between the US and border that is still in place up until January 6th. I told you about the designated learning institution that at least has been updated. If you want to know more about it, I will be linking it in the video description. I also told you about the border closure between Canada and the UK. So for those of you that are in the UK, you can come into Canada up until January 6th. Let us hope they do not extend it. And I also brought to you latest news on the provincial nominee about Saskatchewan. I told you about Quebec. So for more information about this, visit their website and you will get enlightened further. All right, if you feel you enjoyed this video, once again, please hit on the like button and also please endeavor to share this video with whoever you feel will benefit from it and if you haven't seen some of my videos you might want to check my playlist i've got loads and loads of information there that can actually be of tremendous benefit to you all right till i come back to you again on this youtube channel canada reality with your own boy mc bernardino please i wish you good merry christmas and also a wonderful new year in advance peace out